Hey everybody, we're over here in Colorado and we're we kind of running a small crew to do some mainline section uh, that we skipped. We got, you know, we laid a few people off. I'm still here, a couple people are still here. So we're buffing bevels uh, with the welding trucks and so our helpers are going around doing that. And we got three welders going through buffing bevels and I'll show you guys how Luke is buffing does is he takes the grinding wheel goes around and puts a landing on it. These come from the factory with the landing on it, but it's not consistent. And so we're getting the landing consistent, and then we're taking off any rust. So I'll show you guys through that. He's just gonna put a little landing, about the width of a penny, to a nickel, probably around a nickel. Um, and then that's just what our beat hands want. And then he's going to go through and wire brush it off. So oftentimes it's way easier to put a landing on the um, pipe with the grinder without having a garden handle on there. This company requires us to have a garden handle on there, which most companies will, but it definitely does help to not have a garden handle on there for that grinding disc surface because it, it just allows you to get it flatter on the face of the pipe and prevents you from digging in the edge of the wheel. But happy to use your safety stuff, so we're using our safety stuff. So, hope that helped anybody. That's how you put a landing on pipelines. Some people, landing and uh, buff. Some people just spend the whole job. There was a guy that spent the whole job uh, for 80 miles. He was out on a little tractor with a generator, uh, with him and a buddy, a driver, had a generator, tractor, cooler, grinder, and all he did was just put, put landings. I had to make sure I didn't have to pull forward. Put landings on the pipe for 80 miles. So I did, made like, uh, 16 and 100 which so I think you got two extra hours a day for doing it too so anyways that job's out there and I hope that helped you can't let the cows out when you're pipelining oftentimes you're going through giant cattle fields there's some horses over there a house just uh, I gotta put up these gap fences I got one right here this one's down already because we're over there there's no cattle visible so we just have to run to that hoe right there so there you go guys, put up your cat, do your gaps, so that's usually the helper's job, the welder usually is driving, the loops handling this one. I like to get out and help my helper with the gaps. These are some good gaps too, the gap fences. Oh this one might not, he's fighting. Come on Luke, you can do it. I totally would destroy a trailer if I tried to do that. Because I've never driven a bulldozer. <laughs> See, like right there, I would have drove off and the blade would have been like stuck and I would have like flipped it. Man, that's hard on stuff, you think. <laughs>